So in this video, we're going to look at subsidies and we're going to start off with their effects. Now, the effects of subsidies are similar to the effects of tax, but they go in opposite directions. Now, there are really like five effects that you need to know similar to quotas and we're just going to go through that in an example. So the first effect is that subsidies increase the supply of whatever the government is subsidizing. And we can look at it as a negative tax. Now this, remember that the difference is the tax increases the cost. A subsidy decreases the cost. So a subsidy brings an increase in supply and a decrease in price. So the supply curve will shift to this red line that we have here and that red line is our subsidy minus or, or our supply minus subsidy. So let's just mark that down. So the quantity increases and that's a poorly drawn arrow but who the heck cares. And so the quantity increases and the price decreases. So the price falls. So the price falls from the equilibrium, which was 40 down to 30. So the price falls and the, and the supply, the quantity increases. Now the fall in price and increase in quantity produced was the effect that I just talked about. Subsidy lowers price, increases quantity produced. Also, subsidies increase increases the marginal cost. A lower price is paid by the consumers, but there is an increase in marginal cost of producing. Because the marginal, co the marginal cost increases because of the production increases, the resources are less ideal in such production environment because, well, the subsidies make it so that the farmers are making more than normal. And perhaps in some situations, the equipment they, that, that they have aren't really uh, adequate to produce at the amount that they are producing, which is more than normal because their, their, the, their production is being subsidized. Now, another effect is that the payments are from the governments to the farmers. So the governments, usually it's the governments that pay the subsidy and the farmers increase the production. But the last and most important uh, effect is that Subsidies lead to an inefficient overproduction. The marginal social benefit is equal to the fallen market price and the marginal social cost increases and exceeds the, mar the market price. And when the marginal social cost exceeds the marginal social benefit, the increased production brings about inefficiency. The subsidy also lowers the domestic market price, so that leads the domestic farmers to go ahead and sell to the world market or to sell globally. And this will increase the supply on the world market, which lowers the price for the world. So farmers in other countries now face lower prices causing decreased production and smaller revenue. So what the government in one country did, which is subsidizing their farmers, actually caused a backlash effect that affected the whole world. Now let's go through an example. So in this example, we can see that with no subsidy, the price is $40 per ton and 40 million uh, tons per year is produced. Now with the $20 subsidy per ton, the, the supply curve shifts. So the supply curve shifts, so it's the marginal cost minus subsidy falls by $20 per ton and the new supply curve is S minus subsidy, which is supply minus subsidy. Now the market price falls to $30 per ton, as we see here, and the quantity increases from 40 to 60 million tons per year. Now with the subsidy, the farmers uh, receive more on each ton sold. The price of $30 per ton plus the subsidy, which is $20 per ton, equals $50 per, per ton. So what actually happened is before at equilibrium we were selling at $40 per ton with the subsidy we got to $50 per ton. So farmers receive more on each ton sold. And that's it for uh, subsidies. Uh, 
let's we're gonna do market for illegal goods in the next video or actually we'll just do it right now just get a head start on it so the market for illegal goods and illegal good is well the illegal good is the well good pretty much means that the cost of trading that good increases so how much the cost increases and who actually bears the cost depends on the penalties for violation the larger the penalties and better the policing around that illegal good then the higher the cost the penalties can be imposed on buyers sellers or both and we're just going to start off here with uh, a normal a normal market or we could say that say that we're gonna look at a free market and see how the changes that occur when the good uh, is made illegal. So we're gonna see what changes when the good is made illegal. And that's where I'll stop us. So in the next video, we're gonna talk more about illegal goods. Other than that, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.